The first Russian A-50 aircraft was shot down by a Patriot air defense system, American Colonel. In January of this year, a Russian A-50 airborne early warning aircraft was hit by an American Patriot anti-aircraft missile system. This information was shared by Colonel, Deputy Chief of Staff of the 10th Air and Missile Defense Command of the U.S. Army, Rosanna Clemente. The officer said that the defenders of the Ukrainian state used aerial ambush tactics. According to her, the fighters were specially prepared for this. In the middle of the night, the instructors activated the Patriot battery. The order was given to go to the firing position, work out, and then retreat. The colonel added that Ukraine is currently armed with up to a battalion of Patriot air defense systems. Some of them are used to protect stationary objects, others move and do truly historical things. I have not seen this in 22 years of work in air defense, she emphasized. For the first time in history, the Russian AWACS aircraft A-50 was destroyed on January the 14th of this year in the skies over the Sea of Azov. Ukrainian soldiers also managed to hit the IL-22 air command post. It reached the airfield, but according to the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, it cannot be repaired. Russian propagandists reported that as a result of the liquidation of the A-50 aircraft, at least 11 occupiers were dismissed. In addition, enemy propaganda dispersed the fake news that the defeat of the A-50 and the IL-22 was supposedly a mistake of the Russian air defense. On February the 23rd, another A-50 aircraft was shot down over the Sea of Azov and the plane crashed into the Krasnodar region of the Russian Federation. Journalists learned that the plane could have been destroyed using a modernized missile for the Soviet S-200 air defense system. Europe is not enough for Putin, Baltic states, Poland, Balkans are Russia's potential targets. The next targets of Russian aggression could be the Baltic states, Poland or the Balkans. Even Europe would not be enough for Vladimir Putin, said Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in his speech before visiting French National Assembly. Europe is once again being forcibly redrawn with claims that certain nations supposedly do not deserve independent existence. All of this is currently directed against Ukraine, but it is intended to be aimed at others tomorrow, the head of Ukraine declared. Zelensky outlined the possible sequence of Russia's next targets. In his opinion, this could include the Baltic states, Poland, the Balkans and beyond. This Russian regime does not recognize borders. Even Europe would not be enough for it. It has already destroyed Syria and is causing chaos in the Sahel, investing in terror and undermining life wherever it can reach wherever it does not meet resistance, said the president. Ukrainian authorities have repeatedly said that the Russian regime will not stop in Ukraine if it wins the war. According to Estonian intelligence, Russia is already preparing for a new war, which could happen within the next 10 years. 
A direct conflict with NATO is not ruled out either. Estonian intelligence officials note that Russia has managed to reconfigure the economy to a military orientation, so everything is more or less going to the plan again for Russia. According to Kaupo Rosin, Director General of the Estonian Foreign Intelligence Service, Russian military leaders have learned from the mistakes of the initial stages of the war and are adapting with uncharacteristic speed. It seems that the Russians are, in principle, turning into a learning organization in the military, he says. Rosin adds that Russians have always solved problems through mass participation. In his opinion, the Russian reforms are likely to lead to the creation of low-tech, Soviet-style army with great firepower and artillery.